So I was just talking to God and telling him that tonight I just want to feel his presence and I can't wait to just, you know, like, see what's going to happen. I have, like, 12% left on my camera, so I really have to turn it off, but I'm so excited. I, I can't see, wait to see what God does tonight, so, ooh, all right, you guys, Jesus culture, yes! Alright guys, I made it. I'm inside. So here is the setup. So look at it says right there, Jesus culture! Jesus culture! <laughs>
excited about something. We're not asking you to give anything tonight, but I am going to give something to you. We are going to give something to you because we want you to have this. We actually sent our film crew and our team to investigate that miracle, and they put together a documentary, thoroughly researched. Every aspect of this great miracle was documented. We interviewed the mortician who embalmed him. We interviewed the doctor who pronounced him dead and signed the death certificate. We interviewed people who were standing right there that saw him come back to life right before their eyes. In fact, the mortician who embalmed him was a Muslim. Now he is an evangelist preaching the gospel. Crazy. the Lord. When you came in tonight, you received a brochure like the one that I'm holding in my hand right here. It says the Reinhard Monkey Gospel Crusade at the top. I'm asking you to take that out right now. Wherever you are, just take out that little brochure. And if you will open it up to the first page, you will see a little card in there with a red stripe on the top and the bottom. I'm going to ask you right now just to pull that card out of that book. There's a perforated edge there to make it easy. Well, 
there is a wonderful secret to the blood of Jesus. A wonderful, wonderful secret. And in a minute or two, I just want to explain that to you. It's amazing. The only blood in the Bible called precious, I say it again, is the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. If you go for a health check, they give you uh, blood works. They draw blood from your body. Why? Because the truth is in the blood. And when it comes to the power of the blood of Jesus, I believe it's secret can be found in that blood and I want to quickly explain it. The truth is in the blood. A blood sample can be used to identify a child's father. Since the blood which flows in the veins of the father always bears some similarity to that of his child. There's a connection between father and child in the blood. Now, my question to you is this. Who was the father of Jesus? Tell me. God. Shout it. God. Perfect. I'll give you an A plus because that is what the Bible tells us. That is true. God. Well, you see, if Joseph had been the father of Jesus, the blood of Jesus would have been sinful blood. If Joseph, Joseph had been the father of Jesus, we would waste our time here tonight. But Joseph was not the father of Jesus. We read it in scripture. Dr. Luke wrote Luke's gospel. Of course, science hadn't started in those days. Uh, and, uh, uh, but I believe Dr. Luke was a thorough man and before he wrote his gospel he must have interviewed Mary and said to her Mary how did you conceive Jesus and this is what Mary said and that's what he wrote down Luke 1 35 she said the Holy Spirit came to me overwhelmed me and I conceived yeah. of the Holy Spirit. God is the Father of Jesus and Jesus is the only begotten of the Father. And when the devil laid hold on Jesus and had evil man crucify him and the blood spent and the blood flowed. That moment, the fountain of the blood of Jesus began to flow, has been flowing through the ages, is here tonight, right here, to forgive us our sins and to save us from all chains that the devil has bound us with, including the chain 